The sourcing volcanic system have usually earthquakes starting at a depth of 10 kilometers. That is the thickness of the earth crust on the Perekinus Peninsula. We don't have such earthquakes at that depth at the moment as it was in the past. For example, we had clusters of it. Now we don't have that much. Uh, what that means is that the earthquake is created when practically the blocks of the rocks move and release the energy that is in, uh, stored in the uh, position of the contact between them, the fracture and break pulverizing the, the rocks. Such a thing is not happening. That means either they get a stock together, they cannot move, or there is no need for movement, you know, they are just free. In that sense, the magma can rise and we have to see the evidence. And the evidence is that the movement and the accumulation of the magma under the sourcing and the surrounding areas from Torbjorn to the other areas to the west shows that the magma accumulation is continuing. So magma is freely moving up, but it doesn't erupt at the surface. To the surface, the movement of the plates is stuck somehow. So when this is stocking of the movement of the plates is relieved, we will have a storm of earthquakes and the magma will suddenly rise. This is what we will see usually in the, as I always mentioned, in the ophiolite sequence on the oceanic crust. We have the fossilized versions of it on the land in many places around the world. We are seeing it in Iceland in real time. The earthquake chart also shows that the, what I have called as caterpillar effect is back. Either it, this means that that flexure of the uh, lithosphere is happening due to the tides, or it can be that the workers are back doing the work on the rows every six hours they go for a, you know for having a break and then after six hours they come back we know that the shift is 12 hours and when we look at the thorbion camera for example this is from the ruv uh, live camera you can see that the the, uh, the road actually main road passing through the lava field and the wall is actually the one used by the workers and they are com uh, commuting in that area. So either the full moon has affected the weather so they can work now after a few days of break. Who knows, maybe there are werewolves even there that uh, they come with the, with the full moon. Anyway, there is not much evidence to prove either of this. Uh, what we see there now, what is certain, is that we have the road passing through the lava is used by the workers, not by the ordinary people. There is a, a substitute for them in the form of the bypass road to the right you can see that yellow line and also we can see that there are walls or berms built around the one's original one which is now covered with lava and to the uh, slightly to the south of it and to the east of the Grindavik we have a now uh, a new wall that uh, I suggested and uh, it's now built I also suggested in a recent video that we should build a series of uh, walls uh, across the uh, fissure and uh, magma dike to actually uh, potentially stop any of the future uh, eruptions before even they move out of their original zone unless they really cut through it in that case i suggest also that we abandon central part of the grindavik and move the residential areas to the east and west of that uh, area that way we will avoid all of these problems. This is the latest update from this situation. At the moment it's quiet, but maybe may be the, uh, quiet before the storm.